In the third and final video in the Simple Folding Sawhorse series, I'm going to talk about safety. I like having all my body parts intact, so I'm going to add a couple safety features. The first safety feature I'm going to add is a cutoff switch. I'm going to use a light switch, an electrical box, and an extension cord. It's important to use a three-prong cord so it's grounded. I'm going to cut the extension cord about a foot from the female end. Then I'll strip the insulation off and insert the wires into the electrical box. Since the extension cord uses stranded wire, I'm going to crimp electrical connectors onto the wires. If you try to connect stranded wire directly to the switch, you may have difficulty getting a good connection. The black wires connect to the top and bottom terminals on the switch. The two green wires connect to the ground terminal, and the two white wires are connected to each other. Okay, let's put the switch in the box and install the faceplate. Looking good. Let's see if it works. It didn't blow up. That's a good sign. I'm going to mark on and off with an O and an X. Okay, let's install it on the table. I want to put it somewhere that's easy to reach in case I need to turn it off really quick. I'll attach a scrap piece of 2x4 to the table, then mount the switch to that. I unplugged the switch box during this because I didn't want to get zapped. The second safety feature is a fence for the router table. I think the router table would be safer with something to guide the work pieces across the router bit. The solution is pretty simple. You could just clamp a piece of wood to the table, but I'm going to make an adjustable fence. I just need a piece of scrap wood, a couple T-nuts, and a couple knobs from the hardware store. First I'll cut the scrap wood to shape. I need to cut an opening for the router bit. Then I'll cut slots for the mounting hardware. I needed to use a file to clean up the edges. And lastly, I'm going to install some T-nuts in the base plate. Here's how it all goes together. As you can see, the fence is adjustable. That should come in handy. Okay, let's try it out. That's much better. That's it for the Simple Sawhorse series. Hope you found it useful.